I'm Matt, I play guitar in Tired Lions. I'm Ethan, I play drums in Tired Lion. I'm Sophie, I play guitar and sing. I'm Nick, I play this, but not in Tired Lion. But not in Tired Lion. Sitting out a hot jam uh, hot when you're sitting jam. like on the edge of your bed and you're and you're tired and you're fucked and you're like oh and you're angry or you're upset and then it makes you feel better and when you play it's like a drug and afterwards you're like yeah I'm powerful and I'm confident and shit and then you get yeah. off stage and hate yourself. It's a bit. you get off stage and you're like oh when do we get to play again because like you get that high it's, yeah it's sort of like a drug and it's Um, it was money for starts, which is what everyone says, but we didn't get the memo, I'm pretty sure that band that didn't bring wellies, so I, we basically destroyed our shoes, so that's pretty cool. Uh, just the experience in general was just incredible, just the whole the whole vibe backstage with all the other artists and everything, and just the way the artists were treated as well, it was just uh, kind of next level. Uh, Levi's hooked <laughs> you up with free oh, yeah. clothes, so we got out all these jeans for free. And I was really drunk and they could sew things onto them and I got frogs sewn into my jeans. Which was an instant regret. And they can they're, they're satin green frogs. They this like satin. Like, yeah. come on. But um yeah, I found the crowd at Splendor really awesome. I guess um sometimes like sometimes the crowd can make or break a show and yeah, everyone like knew all the lyrics to our songs and it was really cool. Touring's been good. I think we're starting to sort of slip into like a comfortable routine with them, so to speak. I mean, Definitely. we know how to handle each other when the tensions are high. Sure. And like, we've got our uh, backpacking abilities down now. Yeah, yeah, and I'm really good at getting ready in like two seconds when I need to, which is, which is a good thing. I but, think yeah. we've, we've put on years, like, you know, in the face because, <laughs> because of the lack of sleep. So, you so know, you think I'm, think I'm actually 15, <laughs> but I look, I look like a 24 year old, and it's because of the <laughs> <laughs> Damn old 24 year old. <laughs> Actually, I started playing bass because I bought my first bass because I wanted to do electric guitar at Prime School. And the only way I could play sort of electrical guitar related instrument was joining a concert band. So there's only playing bass guitar parts. So I decided to start playing bass. Little rock star homes. Couldn't be a spy, could she? I wanted this. They wouldn't let Sophie be a spy. So she got a guitar instead. Gather around for the story, yeah. boys. So it goes down. I don't play it basically. That's it. But um, that song was uh, 
written in a strange way compared to the rest of our songs. It's like written, it was written, um, well it was actually like this opening riff just started off with me playing the bass, even though I'm the drummer, in the jam room. And I think Sophie's on drums, Matt Stewart's on guitar, and Nick was on guitar. And then we just jammed the riff for a bit, and then we were like, let's like, actually make this into a song. I have pretty sick chops on the drums, so that's pretty much weird. why that's it's why. such a banger. And then we decided, I guess, to actually get our own instruments and make the song what it is now. And it kind of all happened in one rehearsal. It was, it was seemed like a really easy task. Well, I mean, it wasn't a task, but it was just like a really easy thing to do. Very organic. We had a yeah. lot of fun with it, and at the time, we were all pretty down about life as usual. And yeah, I guess. We, um, we just had a lot of negative energy towards each other at the time. So when this whole song was coming, like forming, um, I guess a lot of the inspiration from it was getting that negativity out, but without like hitting each other. <laughs> I guess like from the last question, you're like, what inspires you? And it's like, you know, as soon as something happens, you kind of go away and you write a song about it or a song idea comes. And like, during that time, there was a lot of changes going on. And I think we churned out quite a few songs in that time. And so the, the EP, like, means quite a lot to us. because it, it, it reminds us of that point in time when all that shit was going down. So, I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty stoked that people are getting behind it and maybe connecting a little bit with the, with the songs because maybe they experience something similar. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to um, start a bakery. No, I'd like to... <laughs> I'd, aspirations for the band, I guess, would be... Um, I'd like to leave Australia and play some gigs. Maybe America, UK type thing. Um, oh. Which would be awesome. Yeah, we, uh, we just got... Uh, I guess signed to a UK um, booking agency. So over next year, sometime, we'll probably head over there for a few shows. It should be fucking awesome. So your dreams will come true then. Oh, uh, yeah. And I also have a vision that um, Matt will meet his dream girls in one of those countries, but I can't tell you which one because I don't want to be surprised.